The purpose of this video is to help you understand the different areas of our U-Haul rental contract. The very top section contains the type of rental contract you have. This is an example of a one-way contract, which means the customer is taking our equipment from one location and dropping off at an agreed-upon destination. It contains the date and time of the rental, the contract number, the roadside assistance number, your equipment number, and the renting location's six-digit identification number. This area also confirms whether you have purchased our safe move protection or not. To the right of your rental information is the number to the rental location should you have any questions or need help. The next section contains the renter's information and the renting location information. In the box below the customer's information is the drop-off information. For a one-way contract, this will include the drop-off city and state, the due date and time the equipment is to be returned. If your contract contains a specific drop-off location, it will have the name of the location, its address and phone number. Dropping off at another location may result in extra charges. If there is not a specific location, a phone number to call is provided to receive information on where to drop off the equipment. Right under the drop-off information shows the amount of days and miles given to complete your one-way move. Included in this area is the price per day and price per mile for any extra days, miles, you go beyond the rental agreement. You should always notify the drop-off location or phone number given if there is a need to keep our equipment beyond the rental terms. The box below the area of the days and miles allowed is the beginning of your rental charges. The first box identifies your equipment number and its license number. The odometer reading at the time you rented the equipment. The next area confirms that you purchased our safe move protection. The next area is the base rate of the rental truck. Combine the base rate of the truck with the safe move protection and you get the total charge in the next box. The next section contains any other charges and taxes if applicable. There is an environmental fee which is collected to reduce the negative impact of our business on future generations, the subtotal, then any taxes or deposits made, and then the total amount of rental charges. We then show the form of payment for the total amount that was paid. On the left contains a picture of a fuel gauge reading and the fuel tank capacity, in this case, 40 gallons. The fuel gauge reading is the amount of fuel the truck had when you rented it. You must return the truck at your destination with the same fuel gauge reading. The bottom portion of the contract contains items you should read before you sign your contract so that you are aware of certain rules or provisions of the contract. 